at Sith Lord. Hello only one Kenobi here, welcome to episode 35 of the Vintage Collection Quick Shot series. Don't get excited about that guy spinning on the turntable. I do not, I repeat, do not have this figure loose. But this is a really good figure. I just thought I'd show you which one that is. And it's a great regret that I don't have this figure loose because it looks simply awesome. But I'm going to discuss a few other good Mace Window figures that you can get in the, uh, you know, in, in figure collecting. So here is the car back. You know, the figure, again, look at the beautiful unpunched card there. The card is awesome. It's real, man. Look at that. It's not being tweaked, it's a, it's an image from the movie or it's a publicity shot. It's got a slight bit of a an imperfection grain to it, man, you know? Just like they would have been in the 80s. Now they're going for all out beautiful, glossy, shiny, computer generated, photoshopped nonsense in the current vintage collection line. Uh, you know, bring it back as they, as they used to have it. Now this figure, I unfortunately don't have it loose. I did see one on eBay about a couple of years ago now maybe, and it was going for about 20 quid. I should have pulled the trigger and bought it to open it. Um, but it doesn't matter because there are other great, there are other great Mace Windu figures you can get out there. But that does look a, look a good one. He looks mean there, doesn't he? I like it. And you've got all the accessories, the robe and everything. So, right, bear with me a minute. Let's just turn this around and show you the back. Another great history lesson, although that's incorrect. That one is wrong because the original Mace Windu figure was the sneak preview. You see, they got the sneak preview for the, excuse the shaky camera. They got the sneak preview for the Django Fett correct. So what the hell were they doing in the research department when they decided to print this? I mean, it's wrong, isn't it? But anyway, there you go. Mistakes are made. Nobody, nobody's perfect. <laughs> See what I did there? Now this figure here is a 5 POA Mace Windu. I just thought he, his facial sculpt was really good. Um, he's a 5 POA one that came from the Mission series of the Saga collection. Or Saga, Saga Legends, I beg your pardon. Just when he spins around again, I'll show you what he looks like. I just thought it just he just looked like a badass Samuel L. Jackson. But he's 5 POA, so he can't do much, but he looks good. He didn't come with that robe, by the way. That's a spare robe I put on him. And I just thought, well, you know, shoot, man. I don't have that figure loose, but man, you can get another one that's decent. I'm just walking away from the camera for a second because I'm going to find another really good Mace Windu figure. And it's this one here, since we're talking about Mace. Let's move in on that one. And... Um, now this one has got two possibilities. Number one, it's a decent Samuel L. Jackson, probably a, re a better superior head sculpt. So that's what this figure can give you. But also, it's on this orange card, and I, I've always said this, these figures that came in the Black Series orange card line should and could have been on vintage cards anyway. So I would love to see, or I would have loved to have seen him put on a Clone Wars card in the first instance. But... You know, it's possible he could be repacked, although that will not please many people to hear that word repack because they hate repacks, but I think he's got potential for the future to be on a Clone Wars car because that figure was a Clone Wars variation because you can see the armour on his... On his uh, oh, you can see the armour on his wrist there, so that would be cool to have an Ahsoka, Anakin, Obi-Wan and Mace Windu. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed... I'm just trying to get the camera steady. Come on, man! Hope you have enjoyed that video. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.